All right, BFIT Nation, welcome back to another Motivational Monday, another BFIT Live, another chance to start off your week nice and strong with us. Myself, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes, and I'd like to introduce my guest, my partner, my workout partner, Senior Matt Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning. I'm doing good. How are you? All right, absolutely. Yes, ma'am. I'm doing well. I'm excited. It's another Monday. Again, another chance to start the week off nice and strong with us. If you're new to the BFIT Live program, we have a nice condensed 30 minute workout for you to get the mind moving, to get the body moving, to help you stay active, to, see, to help you stay healthy and uh, to move on and, and just progress throughout the week here. So once again, welcome to our BFIT Live channel. <clears throat> we are here every Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, we will go through four different movements for today. We have four exercises that we're gonna run through to, uh, that are programmed to get our heart rate elevated as well as strengthen some resistance training uh, throughout the four movements. <clears throat> Excuse me so much. So with that, uh, get settled in, grab that towel, grab that water, all right? Stay hydrated through this workout. And most importantly, all of these movements, let's accomplish them to our comfort level, okay? If we need to scale back and if we need to modify any of these, any of these movements, let us know in the comments below, and we will be happy to, um, ed, ed, you know, to kind of tailor anything to your needs, to your fitness level, and to your comfort level. So as always, safety first, but let's go ahead and push ourselves and, um, and, and start this week off nice and strong. So with that, our timing for today, it's going to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, one minute rest in between each round, and those are going to be, there's going to be four rounds. And we will have four movements. So once again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, four exercises, four rounds, and one minute in between each round to help us reset, recover, and get ready for that next round. I will go through uh, the demos of each of the four movements before we get started. We will jump into some dynamic stretching, all right, to get dynamic here and prime our bodies to get ready to work. And then we'll jump into our workout, all right, team? So let us know where you're watching from. Leave us a note in the comments below. Uh, let us know where you're joining from. Are you indoors like Team uh, and Barry, or are you in a different location like myself? All of these movements, again, can be accomplished anywhere. It does not take a lot of room. So you'll see um, a lot of movements that are just in a condensed, compact movement. But give me all of your effort for today, everything that you have, and we will have a great workout together. So kicking off exercise number one, let's jump into it here. Speaking of jumping in, <clears throat> we're going to have 10 high knees and two inchworms. All right. That's what we're going to, that's going to be exercise number one. So with those 10 high knees, make sure to drive that knee up towards that chest, opposite hand to opposite knee, as if you were running into those 10 high knees, right? After that, you are going to go down into two inchworms. All right. Nice and controlled here, working on engaging that core, keeping that back flat and those hips square to the floor. So we will go down, touch our toes, extend all the way out to a high plank position. All right. Give me one additional reach and then retract back. All right. As you load back, load back up and extend back out into that high plank position, then retract back. And then we are up for 10 high knees. So 10 high knees and two inchworms. That's going to be exercise number one. And that is geared to get our heart rate elevated right off the bat. All right, so exercise number two, if you have any resistance available to you, any dumbbells, any uh, water bottles, anything with a handle, a kettlebell would work out great as well. We have a squat to a high pull. So nice, strong stance here. Your feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart. You're going to grab that resistance if you do have. All right, keeping that chest up, pushing those hips back and down, front knees, or the, your knees rather, are tracking over your toes as you drop into that squat, wherever your comfort level may be, but keep that chest up and that head up. From there, you're going to drive up through those heels and in one motion, roll up into that high pull, okay? So squat into a high pull. We're gonna do five reps on each side, and then we will alternate off the ground to the other arm into the squat to high pull. So squat to high pull is going to be exercise number two. Exercise number three, we have a lateral lunge to a knee drive. We don't do any of everything uh, forward and backward in one plane of motion. So we're going to mix it up 
with some lateral work here. So standing in the center portion of our space, we're going to laterally lunge over to our right or left. Quick little note here, our toes wanna be in alignment here. So we wanna keep those toes in a line. Think about a straight line right here, dropping those hips back and down, keeping that chest up. And again, that knee is gonna be tracking over that toe. That's the kind of goal in where you want to sit back into that lateral lunge, right? Hands are nice in front of you, chest is up, head is up, looking straight ahead from there. We want to drive up, right? Drive back up to standing position. Use those arms for momentum here, drive up. And from here, either touch and go into that high knee, or if you can extend up from that lateral lunge, using those arms into that high knee position, right? That's gonna force us to stabilize, balance, working on that core engagement here. Then alternate leg here, into that other side of that lateral lunge into that knee drive. So lateral lunge into a knee drive is going to be exercise number three. Last and final exercise, we are on the floor here on deck for some core activation. <clears throat> we have V up toe touches into ab twists. So the rep count for today is 10, I'm sorry, is five V up toe touches into two ab twists. So we are on our back here. If you have a mat, this would be a great time to grab that. We are going to come back on our backs here. Legs are gonna be up nice and tall here. We want to try and reach for our toes, all right? Most important thing here is bringing your shoulder blades off of the floor. That's going to bring that crunch, that core engagement, that abdominal engagement here into that crunch. All right, think about quality reps over quantity. So try not to tuck your chin towards your chest, but rather lead up to the ceiling here. So five touches here. Let's reach for the shin or the ankle or the toes. And after that, we are going to sit up into a reclining position and we have two ab twists to break up those five toe touches. So it's five toe touches and two ab twists. All right, that's gonna be exercise number four. Those are gonna be the four movements for today. All right, to round out our BFIT live program and then uh, we will have a great day. All right, so <clears throat> Sergeant Barry, how are we doing? How's that sound? This sounds awesome, Ray. Let's do this. All right. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Let's do this. Uh, so, David, David, welcome. Dallas on the couch. All right, David, you are one <laughs> step away from working out with us. <laughs> All right, David Hill, join us. Good morning, Vanessa. All right. All right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good to see you. Um, let's see. Thanks for joining us once again, Anna. All right. It looks like we are ready to go, ready to rock and roll with this. So we're going to start out every workout just like we do with some dynamic stretching. So let's start off to prime our bodies to get our bodies nice and ready to work here. So we are going to extend back with a dynamic quad stretch. So we're going to take that right leg. We're going to extend it back towards our glutes here, grabbing that foot, trying to find that balance, keeping that core tight, right? To find that balance, focus on that breathing. Left hand goes up in the air, pushing those hips forward. That's the most important part here, pushing those hips forward feeling that stretch and that isolation in your hip flexors, in your quads, and in your shoulder as you extend up all the way nice and tall, right? All right, take your time with these to your pace. We are gonna work through each of these dynamic stretches for about 30 seconds, and then we will move on to the next. So if you feel the need to kind of sit in a movement a little longer than myself or Sergeant Barry, then let's do that, all right? Feeling out our bodies here, seeing where we are tight, and trying to loosen up our bodies, getting ready to work here. From here, we're gonna to step to the top of our workout space here. We're gonna go into a reverse lunge into an overhead reach. So right leg goes extended back, find your balance, find your core. All right, we're waking up here. Hands come together overhead and extending out with a small little reach over to our right side, or our left side rather, which is going to be whichever leg is forward. That's the leg you are going to um, reach over to the side with, all right? That's going to get a little bit of a taller stretch in our spine, right? In our shoulders. And you'll feel that stretch within that overhead reach of that lat that you were stretching out. So not to mention you're down into a reverse lunge. So you're going to feel some blood flow moving towards those legs, those lower extremities, those quads, hip flexors. Once again, if you've been seated for a long period of time, this is a great stretch here. If you wanted to take that knee off the floor here and really work in those hip flexors, that's the movement to do it right there. So after that, let's go into some lateral lunges here. Fixed feet, nothing too aggressive here, no knee drive, like exercise number three we will be doing, but this is a nice little warm up to get our bodies ready. So 
we are going to shift our weight over from our left into our right, making sure that our feet are in alignment right here, keeping that chest up. Just a nice, comfortable lateral motion here. All right, you should feel a stretch in that inner thigh, right? Really getting some blood flow going to our lower body here. Nice and controlled, nothing too aggressive here. Just a few different movements here. Working out where we are tight, opening up those hips, getting our body ready to move. That's the name of the game today. That's the name with our dynamic stretching and stretching overall, just getting our bodies ready to work here. All right. <clears throat> Let's go into the world's greatest stretch here, which you are stretching out a lot of muscle groups here. So we're gonna come back to our workout space here. We are going to extend down just like we do with our inchworm here. We're gonna come out to a high plank position. The hands are gonna be underneath our elbows here. That right leg is gonna come up as far as we can next to our right hand, okay? You wanna keep that rear leg nice and straight. From here, you wanna take that right hand and you wanna open up, all right? Rotate, open up to where your hand goes towards the ceiling, parallel, I'm sorry, perpendicular with you actually. All right, your gaze wants to follow that, those fingertips, all right? From there, bring it back down to the floor. Right leg comes back into that high plank position. Left leg comes all the way up. All right, into your left hand. Left hand comes off of the ground, rotates up. Hips are square to the floor. Your gaze is at your fingertips from there. Sit right in there and come back down into a high plank position. Let's go ahead and alternate. Right leg up to right hand. Right hand rotates up towards the ceiling. Once again, your gaze follows your fingertips and then comfortably come right back down. All right, after each one, you should see that maybe each leg comes closer and closer towards your hands. All right, nice rotation in the spine, the thorax there. Right leg, last one here for that third rep. Rotates out, get a little rotation in the upper body. A lot of hip mobility work going on here. And that's gonna be it for the world's greatest stretch. Let's go into just some upper body stretch here. All right, feel yourself out, shake that one off, okay? That one should have felt really good for us here. Let's go into some last but not least YTWs to just open up that upper body here. So we're gonna take a nice strong stance here. We're gonna bring our hands together to center. We're gonna make a big Y with our hands here, making sure and shooting up as far as we can, right? Nice proud chest back to center. Open up with that T, shoulder blades are coming back. Nice little squeeze, nice little pause back into that W. Good, really engaging those shoulders, those mid to upper back, back to center, back to that Y. Yes, ma'am. Good. And pets, welcome. You're in our B Fit Live. Good, back to center and back to that W right here. Good, last one here, big Y for me. Good, back to the T. Nice strong stance, chest is nice and proud. Good, last W to show off our biceps here. <laughs> and good to go. All right, team, we should be warmed up. Get a different view here, warmed up, ready to go. Again, grab that water, grab that towel. Stacy, welcome, welcome from Luke. All right, Natasha, absolutely. Good to see you in. All right, team, I hope you are ready to work. We have a great for movement exercise workout coming up for you today. So I'm gonna grab some quick water and we'll set the timer and then we will get on our way. Mm. All right, team. All right, I hope you have some water available to you as well. If you have some resistance, again, we're working with some dumbbell <clears throat> work to scale up if you have them available to you. Again, exercise number one, 10 high knees, two inch worms. Exercise number two, a squat to a high pull. Exercise number three, a lateral lunge with a knee drive, okay? And exercise number four is gonna be on the floor with B up toe touches and core twists. So we'll start that timer here and let's get ready to roll. All right, team, here we go. We are off and running here. Eight seconds here, 10 high knees and two inchworms, okay? Those high knees, let's go as high as we can. If not, Let's stay into a running position. 10 high knees here. Out of those 10 high knees, stay on the balls of your feet. Let's reset. We're going to scale down into those two inch worms. All right, to your pace here, load up. 
touch those toes, extend back into that high plank position. If you can give me an extra reach, let's do it. Back it's flat, hips are square. Out of that, 10 more high knees. All right, so we have 15 seconds left. Time flies by, 40 seconds of work flies by. Out in eight, last extension here into those two inch worms. Out in four, last three, two, one, and 20 seconds of rest right here. Catch that breath. Good. Three seconds. Two, we have at squat to pull. Coming up, grab that weight here in eight seconds. We will get started here. All right, team, breath is under control. Three seconds, two, one, squat to high pull, five reps on each side, okay? Sitting back in those hips with those glutes, extending all the way up into that high pull, feeling that activation in your shoulder, the top portion and your adduct, your anterior delts here. All right, 20 seconds here. Make sure to alternate every five reps or every 20 seconds, either one here. Out in 10 seconds here. Make sure to keep that chest up. Nice strong pulls here. Out in five. Last three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Lateral lunge with a knee drive. All right, team. First round, we'll learn these movements. Second round, we can scale up, okay? Unless we feel comfortable scaling up right now. So that lateral lunge with a knee drive is coming up in five. Ooh, okay. Three. To center of our workout space here, lateral lunge here. I'm going to my right. Out of that lateral lunge, I'm going to drive that knee up with a nice little pause at the top. All right, working on, again, balancing, using those arms for momentum. Just as if we were running, right? Opposite hand to opposite knee. Good. Last 18. Okay, if we need to reset ourselves and then drive that knee up, let's do it, team. Out in 12. Good. Last eight. Five seconds here. That's at least two more reps. Three, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job. We are flying by this one. All right. We are on the floor here for V up toe touches with two ab twists. So five V up toe touches and two ab twists. Coming up in five seconds here. If you have that mat, let's grab it. Three. Two, one, five V up toe touches. Here we go, team. Think about that quality of rep here. Legs are some fairly straight out of those five. You're going to recline, sit up, recline into those two ab twists, and then you're back down into five V up toe touches. Remember to lead with that head up. Try not to tuck in that chin too far towards your chest. 17 seconds here. Find that pace and that tempo that works for you. Mm. Out in 10. There's a sound effect. <laughs> All right, last team. Last three, two, finish that one, and time. <laughs> sound effects. All right, team, we've earned it. 60 seconds of rest here. <laughs> and then uh, we will start round two. So now's a great time to grab that water, grab that towel, stay hydrated. Let me know how you're doing, team. Let me know. Let myself. And Senior Master Sergeant Sonnenberry, let us know how you're doing. Speaking of how we are doing, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Remember, first round, we learned it. So second round, we know what to expect here. So it's 10 high knees, two inchworms. All right. If we can pick up that tempo, let's go ahead and do that with those 10 high knees and two inchworms. All right. That squat's a high pull. If you are working with resistance and you have uh, weight available to scale up, Let's go ahead and do that as well. If you want to add weight to the lateral lunge, we can do that too. Seven seconds here, 10 high knees and two inch warms coming up. All right, team, three, two, one, 40 seconds of work. Let's go team, 10 high knees. Woo, yes, ma'am. And two, two inch worms. One, give, you, give yourself a nice little extension all the way out of that high plank. Touch those toes, load back up. Mm. Keeping that core tight, that back is flat. Off those toes with those 10 high knees. Good. 15 seconds there. Into that <clears throat> inchworm here, load back up. Feel that stretch in your hamstrings. 
Good. All right. Give that core tight. Last five seconds. Out in three, two, one, and time. Ooh, okay. All right, all right. All right, squats, a high pull coming up. If we have that resistance, let's go ahead and grab that. Let's do 20 seconds on each arm. Nice, even time here. Out in two, one, squats, a high pull coming up. Here we go, team, 40 seconds on the clock, 20 seconds each arm. All right. Find a pace that is comfortable to you. I like to keep that other hand, that opposite hand out for counterbalance. Out in three, two, alternating, two seconds, one. All right, team, let's go ahead and drop that weight. Alternate to your opposite hand, but continue driving up through those heels with that squat, standing position into that high pull. Last eight seconds here. Out in five. Good, chest is up, head is up. Three, two, one, and time. Good job, team, good job. All right, lateral, lateral lunge with a knee drive coming up in 10 seconds. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Stay with us, team, stay with us. Up in three, two, one. Here we go, team, 30, 40 seconds on the clock. Just try to lateral lunge out in a straight line. Think about pushing those hips back towards the back wall or wherever you may be. And then finding that composure, finding that balance, that stabilization, keeping that core tight into that knee drive. Good. If we can pick up the tempo for the last 15 seconds, let's just pick it up for a little bit, a little bit of a more, a little bit of challenge. I had an eight seconds team. Good. There we go. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. Sorry, Barry, I see you. Adding a little, little hop to that one. I like that. I like that scale up option. All right. V up, toe touches with the ab twist. Five and two. Coming up in three, two, one. All right, team. We're down 40 seconds on the clock. Five and two to be exact on that rep count. Out of those five, you're up in that reclining position, engaging those obliques for that twist. Good, leading with that head, trying not to tuck in that shin. All right, standing back up. Heels are on the floor here for those ab twists. If you wanna scale up, take those heels off of the floor. Like so, good. Out in 10 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. <laughs> so relaxing. I thought we were meditating. <laughs> All right, team. Peel yourself off the floor here. That is round number two. Are we sweating? Did we break a sweat yet? I know it is warm over here. All right, Phyllis, thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing? All right, again, we have 30 seconds of recovery time left, and then we're jumping back into those 10 high knees and two inchworms to kick off round number three. All right, grab that water, stay hydrated. Good work today. Let's keep it up, keep up that energy, keep up that effort. All right, team, less than 10 seconds here, seven seconds. We have those 10 high knees and two inchworms coming up. In five, three, two, one. 40 seconds on the clock here. 10 high knees. Driving those knees up. Opposite hand, opposite knee. From there, extend up into those inchworms. Good, taking our time with these. All right, feeling that stretch. If we need to come down to our knees for that full extension, let's do it. Scaling back a little bit. Retracting back into that standing position if we need to run in place. If our knees are not as high, let's do it to our comfort level out of those 10 seconds here. Let's go into that high plank position. Last five, retracting back, finishing this one out. Three, two, one, time. All right, team, 20 seconds of rest here and we're jumping into those squats to high pulls. All right. All right, 20 seconds each arm. I like the way that one felt. 
Seven seconds here. Squat to high pull coming up in three, two, set yourself up here. All right, team, dropping down. Squat into that high pull. Nice and controlled movements here with weight. All right, think about a controlled movement here. Good, last five seconds here. We're gonna alternate. Two, one, dropping the weight down, grabbing with that opposite arm, opposite hand, and then driving back up through those heels into a standing position with that high pull. <sighs> Out in seven. When you go down, control that squat going down. Good, last three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, grab that breath. <sighs> I know, I know. Good work, team, good work. All right, lateral lunge with knee drive is coming up in seven seconds here. If we wanted to scale this movement up, we can front rack dumbbells. Three, two, one, like so. Here we go, team, 40 seconds on the clock. Dropping down into that. Good. Squat that lateral lunge here. Pushing those hips back and down. Controlling that knee drive here. Front rack position. So your elbows are going to be underneath those biceps. Underneath those dumbbells. 13 seconds here. Good, last eight seconds. Keeping that chest up once again. Out in three, two, one, and time team. Good job. Good job. 15 seconds here on the deck, on the floor here. V-ups and toe touches. All right. Getting situated here. All right, team, we are up in three, two, one. V up toe touches, five, and then two ab twists. Rolling up, reclining, taking advantage of that rotation. And then we are back into those toe touches, five. Nice and quick here. 20 minutes, half 20 minutes, 20 seconds. Thanks, Roy. <laughs> yeah, we have 20 minutes left. 13 seconds left, 13 seconds of the clock here. One more extra, out in five team. Two, one, and time. Good job, good effort, good, good effort. Stay with us, round three in the books here for us for our BFIT Live program. Again, if you are just joining us, we just finished up round number three of our cardio and resistance-based workout. Cardio-based, meaning we are pushing that heart rate just a little higher for an aerobic or anaerobic state here, and those resistance training movements. All right, we're working on strength, building that strength, keeping those muscle groups nice and tight. All right, working on building up those muscle groups. All right, 20 seconds left of rest here, and then we're back into the last and final round of our BFIT Live program. Last round. Best round. Yes, I got excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 10 seconds team, 10 high knees and two inchworms coming up. Last round, here we go. Give us your max effort. Sergeant Bear and I, we're keeping an eye on you. We are keeping an eye on our nation. Here we go, 40 seconds on the clock here. All right, let's pick up the tempo if we can. Out in those two inchworms, retract back, load back up. Give yourself an extra extension and then you're back up. 10 high knees. Make sure to lean forward for those 10 high knees, staying on the balls of your toes. Out in 17. Two inchworms, retracting back, loading up, extending all the way out, giving yourself a little bit of an extra extension. Out in eight seconds here, finishing up those 10 high knees. Woo, out in three, two, one, and time, team. Good job. 20 seconds on the clock of rest. How are we feeling? How are we doing? Good, 10 seconds here, squat the high pull, grabbing that resistance. Elizabeth, thank you for joining us. Let's finish out nice and strong. Three seconds team, two, one. Squat the high pull, 20 seconds off of each arm. Let's go. Once again, control this movement going down, control your resistance. Nice and strong, nice and 
controlled movements. Five seconds, and we are going to switch arms. Two, one, drop the weight, other hand, high pull. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Out in eight seconds here. Last five. Three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, team. Good job. Lateral lunge with a knee drive coming up for exercise number three. We're looking good, team, looking good. All right, seven seconds here, lateral lunge with a knee drive. If you can add in that hop, let's come out of that lunge with a hop out in two, one. Here we go, team, lateral lunge here. Throwing in that hop, a little bit of extra explosiveness. Good. We need to continue to keep with that knee drive. Let's do it. We need to touch base first, load up, and then add in a hop. Let's do it. Team, if we're able to come off of one foot this whole time, drag it, explode out in 12. That chest is still up, using those arms for momentum. Find that cadence. Last three seconds, two, one, and time. Good job, team. Good job. What did it say with us? That's exercise number three. Last and final exercise here. In our BFIT Live program, we have five V of toe touches and two ab twists. Engaging that core, last five seconds of rest here. We are down on the floor in three, two, one, leaning back and let's go team. Last 40 seconds here. Good, bringing those shoulder blades off of the floor. Most important part, control this movement here. Mm, mm, there you go. 25 seconds left. Thinking about leading with that head up rather than that chin tucked in close to your chest. The so head up, a little bit of a gap. Think about if there was a ball underneath your chin, you want that space. Last seven seconds here. Out in three, two, one, and time. Team BFIT Nation, how are we? How are we doing? gather ourselves here, grab that water, we have earned it. Last and final round in the books, last and final round is complete. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Good work today, team, good work. How are we doing? How are we feeling? All right, did you stay with us? I hope you did. I hope you did. Again, this is a great time to challenge yourselves, to get yourself active, to stay in that mindset of, of a healthier lifestyle, continuing to move. It's a lot easier to make those healthier decisions if we continue to move our bodies, okay? Anyway, anyway, forward is forward here. Every day is a workout. So with these movements, we like to think of them as specific movements that you would be doing every day, uh, just because you're in a gym and controlled or at home setting with us. Um, it doesn't mean that these movements do not happen outside of this 30 minute workout, okay? So if it's a lunge, if it's a squat, if it's core activation you're using on a daily basis, all of these movements can be applied outside of this specific BFIT Live. So again, this, these are functional movements that are, that are geared to help you not only strengthen your bodies and your mind, but also to prepare you for any specific type of movements that life throws your way, okay? Just with those lateral movements. Again, we do not move, always move forward and backwards. So to add in a lateral um, movement, okay, in a different plane of motion that's going to help with any type of uh, lateral movements, you know, coming outside of these, out of these workouts. So as I catch my breath, <laughs> Dr. Barry, how are we doing today? I mean, I saw you just crushing it over there. So great job. Yeah, today's workout went really fast, which is so cool because we got a full body workout. And honestly, um, as far as interruption in the day, it's like a bleep, right? And go right back to work and um, be done with my workout. So that's really good. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's so great to just condense movements and, and a workout into just under 30 minutes, if not a little bit more, a little bit less with the dynamic stretching. And so you're able to knock this movement and this workout in, you know, before your day gets started or midday for some of us, or in the evening for some of us, some of us may be recapping uh, or capping off our nights with some movements. So again, your bodies were 
definitely warmed up already from the day that you've already tackled. So to be able to set aside some time and focus on yourself and your body and your health and wellness, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> so again, if, if there's any additional movements or workouts that you are looking for, um, look at our Facebook page here under our playlists, our videos and playlists, look for BeFit. All of our previous BeFit live programs are cataloged there and save for you to go back and rewatch. Now, every workout is different. So you have myself, you have Sergeant Barry leading with you every step of the way, every rep of the way. So 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're there with you, putting in our effort and sweating with you just the same. So if you are looking for additional workout content, visit our Facebook page um, and our, our playlist there, as well as if you, um, you know, want to jump in on our YouTube page, or we have a YouTube channel just as well that catalogs all of our workouts. So if YouTube is your platform, head on over to YouTube. All right, check us out there. But that's it for BFit Live. That's it for our live workouts. I hope you enjoyed it, team. It looks like everyone uh, here is uh, chimed in. And um, again, thank you so much for your support, but as well as building a community. This, this team is is our BFit live team. This is for us to help encourage and motivate and, and really just, you know, hold each other accountable here to move ourselves into a healthier uh, and our better version of ourselves, okay? Every week, week by week. So with that, Roy Montes and Senior Master Sonia Berry there, ma'am. Um, we are signing out. All right, team, have a great rest of your day and have a great week. All right, guys, see you soon.